G'day. Uh, I just want to take you through how our family uh, goes to the toilet, but particularly focused on family cloth. Um, so as you can see, I'm on a squat uh, composting toilet. I can actually um, choose to sit here in the conventional way, but um, for health reasons, we choose to squat. Um, obviously, we take off the cover, we do our business, we cover it back up after putting some uh, sawdust over it. So waterless toilets are really important in Australia for obvious environmental reasons. Um, but also family cloth is too. We've been using this same cloth, um, flanny cloth from the op shop for uh, these little squares for five years now. So after you've finished with it, you wipe, you put it in the bucket. You can add a bit of eucalyptus oil if you want. Uh, we don't, we just put it in dry with a lid on it. About every five days, maybe a week, we uh, put it in the wash. We just move it through to the washing machine when, we're, when it's ready, uh, when it's full and we're running out or running low. They go straight in like that. Uh, and then we use soap berries um, to uh, wash our, our stuff, chuck the soap berries in, and then turn on the machine. It's that easy. If you're used to cloth nappies, this is a hundred times more easier. Uh, than cloth nappies because you don't have you've just got a tiny little amount of excrement you don't have like a whole baby's poo so it's very simple it's cost effective it uh, saves on water it doesn't have a, a high industrial um, industry like toilet paper manufacturing and transportation and water uh, costs in that the family cloth is very simple and easy to do okay the cycle's finished um, I forgot to say uh, it's a hot wash. Normally we wash uh, cold. So um, they're the soap nuts. Um, yeah, often we put obviously other things in here as well. Anything that needs a, um, uh, a hot wash. We take them outside. Oh, sorry, Joe. And then we can um, basically, I always give them a like, this is the iron. And that iron them takes the creases out. So we talk about um, our transition from being fecophiles files or fecophobes to fecophiles. files. Um, and that's a lovely journey. I think we make uh, human manure compost out of all our human manure. Um, we grow food in that, we close the poop loop basically. Um, it's perfect, if you know the science, it's perfectly safe. Just gotta remember we live in a culture that's terrified of shit. Very water intensive. Using drinking water to flush our shit away is just like a, a very old way of thinking. Okay. So basically this is just a yet another example of what I would call First people's law, living according to first people's law and our own first peoples from all over the world where we used to live very carbon positively and frugally, but uh, unfortunately we've lost our minds for that and we live with human centric laws. We need to get back to earth first laws. Of course this can be done without a washing machine, that's the next stage for us. We're not going to be replacing any of our white goods. Um, we've built a cellar uh, which has all our food in it. Um, so when our fridge dies we won't be replacing it. We won't be replacing the washing machine. Basically we don't uh, shower. We've written a, so so a song about that uh, which we'll share with you at some stage. And we save thousands and thousands of litres a year by just making these simple behaviour changes. I think the average flush toilet in Australia um, uses about 20,000 litres of water a year. So the whole process takes about five minutes, once a week. 
very simple to do and these same cloths have lasted us five years and they're still being strong one or two have got a hole one or two have got used for something else like a a rag in the workshop and we've lost those so we'll probably make some more at some stage but easy to do after you've um, been using flannelette cotton to wipe your ass for several years or even several days there's no going back to toilet paper not just for the environmental reasons but because it's just so so much more pleasurable just five minutes once a week um, takes about 30 seconds to put a load of load of family cloth on and it takes about four and a half minutes to hang out the family cloth with one person sometimes we all do it and it takes a couple of minutes but this um, is 100% renew renewable toilet paper it's softer on your bum it's uh, better for the environment we use a little bit of water once a week to clean them but because we've got um, no flush, non flush composting toilets, it more than makes up for it. So, in terms of sustainability, in terms of using what's on hand, these were op shopped uh, cotton flannel sheet, chopped up and then over, overlocked um, around the edges. You can hem it, or you can even, there's a couple, of, uh, a couple of rags in here that haven't been hemmed that we've just added to. And Meg um, uses similar rags for her. Um, uh, period rag so rag time revisited <laughs>